Hi everyone, welcome to Cocktails and Dreams. I'm your host, Zach Prochaska. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to juggle three bottles. Now before I show you guys how to juggle, please feel free to follow me on Instagram and check out our one minute tutorials. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe and share with your bartender buddies. And if there's something that you wanna learn, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video for you. Okay, now before I teach you guys how to juggle, one thing that's very important, I definitely recommend that you buy some plastic practice bottles. Now these are flare codes, but you can get some other options online, but this is definitely something that I recommend when you're practicing your juggle. Now another thing that you need to know is that juggling is an exhibition flare move, a competition style move, so there's very little alcohol in there. You want to use your juggling techniques when you're doing a show or if you're working at an event or a flare bar. Try not to do it behind a busy bar. And remember, there's only going to be about one ounce of alcohol in this bottle. And one last thing, please, please practice this before you try it behind the bar. Do not attempt it behind the bar if you are not good at it. Things can go wrong and you don't want that, trust me. So make sure you practice it before you use it. Okay, step one, you gotta learn your rotation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with one bottle in one hand. All we gotta do is practice a double rotation into your other hand. Notice my hand is staying open. I'm not rotating my wrist. I'm just hand open, catch. Hand open, catch. Now you gotta practice this back and forth until you're very comfortable with it. Okay, step number two, we're adding two bottles. Now, I want you to drop one of the bottles and I'm gonna show you what I mean. We're gonna start off with what we did in step one. We're gonna just do a double rotation over to your other hand, but what I want you to start practicing is getting comfortable releasing the second bottle as the other bottle's in the air. Don't worry about the second bottle, just catch the first bottle and take it step by step. So, first bottle, catch, second bottle, just let it fall. Show you again, first bottle, catch, second bottle, and just let it fall. Now you want to do this until you're comfortable enough to catch both bottles. All right, starting with your left and then your right. And then once you get that, I want you to switch it up and then start with your left, right, left, left, right. Get comfortable with doing this. Your double rotation with the transfer. Once you get this, then we're ready for that third bottle. And also a good thing too is slow it down. You've got lots of time. I know when you're a beginner, it feels like you have no time at all. Take your time. I've got about a second in between. If you want to go too quick, it's much harder and you have to be a little bit more skilled to catch. So slow it in the beginning. Take soft and gentle throws. Give it some height. Just learn the rotations and the catches. Okay, now this is something very important you have to learn. You have to learn your scissors catch. Now what I mean by that is I'm holding the top of this bottle, I have my two fingers out like so. I want to put my index finger inside and my middle finger on the outside. I gotta practice doing a double rotation from one hand and catching it in between my fingers. I'll show you again. Double rotation, catch it. You wanna make sure you're practicing with both hands. Very important, okay? Get that scissors grip because you're gonna need to catch that bottle. All right, so now that we've got our two bottles and our scissors grip, we've got our third bottle in, okay? We're gonna start off with the two bottles in our right hand. We're gonna always throw the first bottle out, the one that's a little lower, and we're gonna do a double rotation to the left. I want you to practice throwing to the left, throwing to the right, catching both bottles, but just before you catch the right, throw the third bottle and let it fall like we did in the steps previous. So I want you to do this. One, two, three, and just drop. I'll show you again. One, two, three, and let it drop. Once you're comfortable with releasing all three bottles, I want you to try and catch that third bottle. So we're gonna go one, two, three, scissors, and catch. One, two, three, scissors, and catch. Okay guys, so that's pretty much how you juggle three bottles. Now once you're comfortable with doing the three pattern to a catch, try and do a four pattern to a catch to your right arm and then just keep adding throws. Now something to remember, when you're starting to juggle, a lot of the times when you're juggling, you're gonna start walking forward, okay? Notice that. The minute you start taking a step forward, stop and just complete to the catch. You wanna make sure you practice all of your throws very controlled. You don't wanna be walking up and down the bar aimlessly not knowing where you're going, just juggling. Just remember, always nice and controlled behind the bar. So that's pretty much how you juggle three bottles, guys. Remember, it's gonna take some time, so be patient. Don't use glass until you're ready, and don't use it behind the bar until you're ready, because you do not wanna make a mistake. If you're taking flare bartending seriously, you definitely wanna get a little bit more serious with your juggle. It will help with your multi-objects. They're great to use for shows. They're also great for competitions. And remember, if you like this video, comment, like, share, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. We've got one minute tutorials. Let me know what you wanna learn and I'll make a video for you. All right guys, practice hard, be patient, have fun, and keep flipping.